Hey guys, we are back on 76 and we are checking out more camps. I've opened up my camp showcases again for at least the month of April. We'll see how long I continue after that. But I will explain more about that at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's check out Mike's camp here. This awesome skyscraper looking build. So I am kind of peeking back here, but I'll have him show me around the front here in just a second. But here's the back view and then we'll go ahead and meet you around front. All right, we're in front here now with Mike. Thanks for showing this off. So we'll just kind of walk around and you can show me stuff. Um, I needed a place for the new new Kishan stuff, so I thought, why not make a bar on the deck back here? Perfect. I don't know if I use the bookshelves. But it fixes the, fixes the bar issue. And then, of course, the open sign out here, the grills lights the helvetia flags and your uh right. mother freaking game changers here that's your group right the game changers that's us yep nice up here is a good view but other than that it's just for pvp escapes the nice. second deck might end up here oh i should show but where we are for now that's where we are okay. so this is the the main deck here and then underneath He's got this little mini deck. I love this. And you just kind of barely fit under here. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Might make a pool a little difficult, but it looks good. <laughs> and of course, the bathroom's over there if you need it. Yeah, I like how that fits in so nicely there. <laughs> you get a little glimpse of uh, the cliff that this is sitting on from there. Yeah. And, uh, you want to go down that, here? We'll come in through the bottom. We'll go in through the bottom. The bottom is really all just for show. It doesn't serve any purpose other than just making this thing really tall. <laughs> the skyscraper part of it. Yeah. Just to make it go yeah. up and up and up. And you were saying that you did this by putting your camp like midway up on this cliff here. Kind of show that. Uh, yeah. So there's a little rock piece underneath there that you put the camp at and that allows you to build above and below the camp structure thing nice so if you want to exceed the normal four stories that you can go that's the way to do it i could go another story i have experimented with it and it will let me do it cool. so it could be six then stay tuned so a little there you uh, go. Main crafting, crafting area floor. yep yeah. yeah, other helvetia stuff i picked up just recently got the White Springs clock here. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Office, Where was the that? Bedroom. I've actually never seen that up in a camp before. It looks really nice. But anyway, back up here. I also really like these chandeliers. Nice view. Gotta have a view and water. Yeah, this is awesome. And then I so swear then I remember seeing a garage door somewhere. Where to was the that? Deck. Holy shit, there's he a guy here. Show up. Oh my god. He's good. <laughs> okay. He's a game changer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, the whole purpose of putting it here, if we take these stairs, is the little cave, mini cave that we got. Oh, I totally right forgot about this. Here. Yeah. Right off of the, right off of the rock. I had to just put this one little foundation piece right here. Put two walls up on each side and try to stick it as close to that corner as I could and hope I'd have room under there. And yeah. Uh, it's almost like it you got a little fire with. escape up there too, and then you've got this cave here. I always did caves. Yeah, I like being I like having easy access to the crafting stuff because that's what I use here the most. Those are more game changers. Pardon okay. <laughs> <laughs> Making me a little nervous, but if you know him, that's good. <laughs> yeah, the Winter Man effigy. I didn't think I'd use him, but I tried to use everything that every camp plan I had. <laughs> he chills nice. out front there. Awesome. Well, this turned out really well. Thanks for showing it off. No problem. Thanks for letting me show it. All right. Well, we'll continue on then. So we're here with Renee this time, and we're checking out this awesome camp here. Um, where are we on the map? Kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Here. 
So yeah, if you want to show me around, I love your docks out here. Yes, this is uh, the entrance area. Most people, when they uh, fast travel over, they get brought into the water purifier section. <laughs> then we have the dock here. I would have liked to have had like a boat or something out here, but uh, I kind of just started with the rock. <laughs> that was like, I was like, I'm going to build off this rock and see what happens. And uh, this is what it turned into, and I'm pretty happy with it. It's a very pretty rock. Yes, the rock was the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> so you then, go up here if you come upstairs, yeah. So if you come upstairs, um, this is where my workshop area is. Um, you'll find all the crafting stations, mm -hmm. even the uh, new brewing and distilling stations. And all the different safety posters. Nice. Yep. Got to keep the walls fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then right here, when you, the entrance, it's a, it's a funny story. My friend, I don't even have the neon letters and signs plan, <laughs> but you know, when you join with somebody and you join, a, they can build on your camp. And so I went, oh. one day, I went, I went away one day and he was like, oh, I need to go to your camp real quick. And I said, okay. And so he goes over there and I come back and it says send nudes. And I was like, <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. <laughs> and then he left it. Awesome. Whenever a friend comes and builds something for me, I leave it here at the, uh, the flamingos somebody else built for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's kind of like, and you know, it's a gift. I'm not going to get rid of the gift. <laughs> so if you come, <laughs> if you come inside the front entrance, of course, you have to go through the shower and get clean before going inside. Um, this is the kind of little hangout living room area. You got both, both radios to play music. Oh. We actually will keep those off. I'll explain about that. Um, okay. Someone got written up. You get like strikes on YouTube, and they got a strike because of John Denver song played in the background, and they didn't have copyright permission oh, for geez. it. Oh, It's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Yeah. If you if you want to listen to the radio, they're both here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, in here is the bedroom. Simple little bedroom. Uh, not much come to the wall. it. Yeah. And then uh, out here, I have my back patio slash fight club arena. Um, I have a friend who live streams, and he, at the end of each live stream, we do a bare, bare knuckle fight, um, see who's champion, everyone takes their perk cards, their armor, so everyone's basically naked in their underwear, boxing <laughs> each other. So. That's awesome. What, uh, what does he stream yeah. on? He streams on Facebook. Oh, we can uh, his something. name is yeah. His name's Jimmy Three Sticks. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of his moderators. Um, nice. He doesn't only stream Fallout, so but when he streams Fallout, I'm usually with him. Sounds like fun. Just duking it out. Yeah, yeah. We we we've had some good times. Awesome. That's about it. Yeah, this looks great. I especially like it with all the lights on here. It's just turning day, so we got lucky and we're able to see it there in the dark for a bit. Yeah, yeah did when really I walked in, I was like, I hope it's at night right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for showing this off. No problem, Miss Tracy, anytime. All right, we'll move on. Okay, we're back with someone who you might be familiar to you. I actually did another video with his camp in it before. Quick smoke here. So he's made an all new camp. I'm checking it out. I super, super dig these curved walls and foundation mixes you've got going on here. And I think you have a cow hidden in here, don't you? Yes. Oop. Wow, he's right there. Hello, buddy. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's happy with me. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. The Mothman statue, which I love. That is one of my favorite things that uh, Bethesda's done so far. I'm yeah, hoping they that job. they actually do the uh, the door from the uh, tattoo parlor. The Coca-Cola door, that would be cool. Oh, Bethesda that would be amazing. Side. Yeah. So you do get a little friends here on the map here. You get some Scorched, right? A spot over here? Yeah, Scorched and occasionally a couple of Super Mutants. 
Ooh, that's no fun. But here's the inside. So we talked about these curved walls in my first camps video. Well, the camp showcase video and Jug is actually the guy who came up with these to begin with. Looks super, super yep. good. And I'm like, you got it to line up really nicely. I cannot get it to line up. But it's not easy. I, I can tell you that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that guy's amazing. He can do it like within seconds. It took me a half hour at least to line up these little walls. Well, he showed you the one where it only took seconds. Maybe he struggled too. I don't know. Because it seems to be a little tough to get these to line up. Is there anything on the other side of this door? Yeah. That's the rest of the camp. The rest of the camp. The, the important stuff. Oh. Besides my... <laughs> I totally did not realize that this was a door here earlier. Because this was open before. And that's why I'm so confused. Okay. <laughs> we'll go through here. <laughs> oh, you got the power armor station like I do. Everybody wants yes. to know where to get this. And I'm sorry. It was a three-day sale. Some light tea. But yeah, super cute camp. Not as big as my last here. one. Yeah, but it's still awesome, and the curved walls really make it unique here. Out front looks really good. I kind of looked out how this roof came out on on the corner like that. Yeah, it looks nice. It gives it a little bit of a unique look. Did you put down the Mothman statue first? No, actually, I put it down afterwards. The Mothman uh, statue is uh, rug glitched. Oh. I see. The reason, and I'm going to tell you right now, the reason why I put the Mothman in front of the window is because even though the doors are locked, there's still ways to break into your camp through the windows without getting a wanted level. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can kind of just jump through some of the windows. You can also, uh, a lot of people put mistakes make a mistake. I have a video that's going to come out on it. They put furniture in front of windows. Yeah, like <clears> crafting benches? And then... Yeah, you can uh, glitch right through them. Yeah, so like if he had his cooking station right here, or if there was a wall here, someone could just go and hit A to craft, it would pull them into the house and into the cooking station. That and, um, I don't know if it's these walls? There's certain walls where you, or windows where you can just jump right through. But yeah. So thanks again. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you too. So camp submissions are open until the end of April. They might stay open after that. We'll see how this goes. See how many people are interested in having their camp showcased. So the rules I have is that it has to be on Xbox. Sorry, that's the only console I have. I'm looking for something really unique. You know, if you have something special that is like the focus of your camp, like this curved wall here was pretty unique. Or I've had people with like waterfalls in the background or really cool locations. Just something unique about your camp because I've had to turn down quite a few people. I see some amazing camps, but I'm looking for something that just really stands out. Otherwise, you can message me on Xbox, Miss Tracy, M-I-Z, Tracy with an E. Or you can message me on my Facebook page, which I will post a link to in the description. Otherwise, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And we'll see you guys later.